my living room. Hope you guys are doing well today. I have the ad right down here with me. Um, I actually realized this week I didn't grab a sneak peek ad. I don't know why. I do every single week. I love looking at them. So I had to run to Aldi this morning to get my sneak peek to do this. But it worked out well because I forgot juice boxes and my daughters ran out of juice boxes when they were packing their lunch this morning for school. So I went to Aldi, got the sneak peek, and I was very excited about something that's in there. So I'm gonna flip this over and show you guys the ad and we'll go through it together. So I will try to keep up with comments again though because I'm on my phone. If, um, if I miss it, I don't have a way to go back and see it, so. Hi, Kevin. I see your good afternoon there. Hope you're doing well. So this is the start of the sneak peek ad. It runs starting May 16th for my area. I live in Southwest Michigan. I get asked that frequently on videos. So I live in the Kalamazoo County and I shop at Kalamazoo Aldi's. We have three of them locally. Um, so this is our local ad. And this is the thing I'm most excited about. I don't know if I can convince my husband that it's worth um, getting though. So if anyone has any input on buying these in previous years, I know they have them every single year. I love the shade on them, $190. It's 11 and a half feet by nine feet and seven and a half feet tall. I think his major concern is that it would just basically blow away. And I wanted to sit over here so I can show you guys where I'm thinking of it for. So this is our pool area and we've lived here 13 years. My husband finally built a little pool shed and we were going to build an actual pergola off of it this year, but the price of lumber, we're just not gonna do it because it would be like triple the price or something like that. So we're gonna hold off on building an actual actual pergola, but we have that little cement pad that we wanna cover so that we can be out with some shade. There's absolutely no shade out there. And I think this would be perfect to get us through a few years at least until he actually builds a pergola. But I'm wondering if anyone has had any wind issues. I would love feedback on this. And then of course we're gonna check the size. But that's something I've really been looking forward to finding in the sneak peeks. Um, I think these planter boxes are really pretty. Uh-oh. Victoria, don't leave. I'm sorry. I could care less about I could not care less about sports. And we're not Michigan fans. My husband's a big Wisconsin Badgers fan, so I know it's not Ohio, but at least we're not Michigan fans. <laughs> and uh, so I think these are really pretty. I actually thought they'd be nice next to um, the like planter boxes next to my shed, but I, I just can't do plants. I'm not a plant person. I kill them. I end up wasting money, and um, it's just not really worth it. I think these are really pretty. Edgers, the brown version, $6.99. It doesn't say how long they are each. There's a lot of different gardening tools, the lopper, pruners. Um, what are you looking for the price? I'm sorry. I see your question, Victoria, but I don't know which one you're asking about. I can try to give you more details. Let's see if I can get a better. There we go, I think that's better. Oh, the pergola is $189.99. And here are the specs on it. 11 and a half feet by nine feet by seven and a half feet. And the canopy is adjustable, which I think is really cool. So you can kind of adjust the shade depending on where the sun is. Um, so we have loppers. I think that's what they're called. Maybe I'm saying those wrong again. I'm a garden idiot over here, but we use these actually quite frequently on trees. My husband will tell me what to do and I'll do it. Um, but my kids really like them. We only have one set. So I have two older daughters that would probably, we could probably get double the labor if we get another one of these. So I'm gonna ask him about those. I feel like these are um, interesting. Solar tiki torches, that could be kind of nice out by our pool. Again, I kind of give all this info to my husband and let him pick what works well because I'm just not that interested in outdoor stuff. I do like to sit and relax, but that's about it outside. Um, I think this hose looks pretty interesting. It's supposed to be lightweight. I think my kids would actually find that highly functional because our current hose that we have to drag into the backyard is very heavy. And I feel like this one looks like it wouldn't tangle as easy. It's kind of like one of those um, expandable ones. So that's interesting, landscaping fabric. I thought it's hilarious that I spent $40 this past week on a smart garden 
indoor garden so that I could plant basil. And then Aldi finally has fresh basil, which I've been asking for. But obviously one week isn't going to be the same as me um, being able to grow it. But I'm for sure going to be trying to love fresh basil. It's one of my favorite ingredients to cook with. I love this half circle welcome mat. I just have about a million welcome mats. Half of them are from Aldi. So I don't need another one. But this is the first page. I'm sorry, I didn't show the planter stands. So those are planter stands. I know like that's a super popular item because house plants are all the, the rage nowadays. I think they're pretty. I just kill them so I can't get into them. That would be an expensive and depressing hobby for me. Next page. I'm really interested to see how fast these sell. I don't know if anyone else was looking for a pool last summer. We weren't, but I had friends looking for them and they were like the hottest item ever. You could not find pools anywhere. Um, especially, you know, stay at home orders were much more strict than they are right now. So I'm interested to see if these sell like hotcakes again. I think these are really cute. Yeah, I, I've tried having a green thumb, but no amount of um, effort can match my lack of interest. So I'm not, I'm not even interested to learn, I've realized over the years. Um, $4.99 for two. I think that's they're really cute. Um, we actually have some fabric kites, so I'm going to be skipping out on those. Today would be a great kite day around here. They have memory foam athletic shoes. I have bought the children's swim sets. Unfortunately, I already bought my son's swimsuit for the year so he would absolutely love this he's four he loves spider-man i would definitely be looking for that but we already got one for this year because we went um on vacation to a hotel with a pool so he needed one this year already and then they have these little round pools 7.99 not much on the second page because they have large pictures next we have I think this is kind of interesting. I don't know that I'd spend money on it though. $15 for a barbecue caddy. It could be pretty nice, but I'm hoping to keep, obviously not the toppings, but a lot of stuff just at our pool shed. That'll make a lot of less transport. But I think it's kind of an interesting idea, just being able to grab one thing and take it outside. I have a carryall in the round and the rectangle. I don't have the salad one and they're not from Aldi, but I feel like if you're interested in these, they're definitely worth $5, but I carry pies, I carry cupcakes, or even you can put different casseroles. I feel like these are super handy, and for $5, I definitely feel like it would be worth it. I love the look of these um, cabana sippers. I just don't trust my kids, and I don't need more cups, but they're, they look like they're glass in four different colors with the lids. Super cute. I actually meant to look up what a uh, grill and bake mat is. I don't really know. I have a hard time believing you could put that on your grill, but that's kind of what it looks like. Or if it's like a resting spot after you grill meat, it can sit there and kind of, you know, you let it sit for a few minutes. I'm not sure what that is. The citronella candles, I might grab a few of those. I'm not sure how many we have left from last year, but obviously really good to keep bugs away. We do not have a puppy. We have cats. There's one of our cats right there. And he is the biggest fan of our heart-to-tail um, bed for cats. Actually, I don't know if it was for cats, but it was like a giant floor pillow. He loves it. We bought it a couple months ago. I'll probably link that video at the end if you're interested in seeing him laying on it. But he loves it. He is a lounger cat. But all of these are for dogs. Um, that dog looks really happy. But I feel like $15 for a dog bed is really a great price. And I feel like we got our last bed. It was $12.99. And I definitely felt like the value was worth it. And then finally, the last page. So they have a couple different frozen chicken breasts this week. So they have this one. And actually not uh, tenderloin, so not breast. But I always keep a bag of this in my freezer, just like last minute desperate attempt. Otherwise I cut and freeze my own chicken. So I feel like this would be good if I were low, but I'm not. For $5.79, it seems like a pretty good value, though. Over two pounds. They have artisan buns, the pup mix. We've bought this in the past. That's always good. I feel like it comes to Aldi like three or four times a year. I love honey mustard onion or pretzel pieces. My kids would probably like those on their lunch, so I'll see if my girls want those to pack. 
I'm looking forward to the combination of these two, um, garlic aioli and the shoestring fries. I'll probably plan hot dogs for dinner and get both of these. I'm looking forward to those. We've bought the shoestring fries in the past and really enjoy them. I love baked beans, but I'd eat the can myself because no one else in my family is a big baked bean fan. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm talking too much. Uh, loft house cookies, always a good thing, but I just never buy them because I would, again, eat them all. Yeah, um, it's interesting. I see, Kevin, your comment about waiting for this week, or you're still waiting for last week's ad to be stocked. When I went and picked this up, I went to a location I don't normally shop at, and they actually had signs. I wish I could share like pictures in my comments, but it said that there are a lot of garden items on back order and that they're waiting. But my store closest to me, I think, got pretty much everything. So I don't know if some I, some stores are waiting and others aren't. But I feel like that's always the issue is I get excited about something and I never know if it'll actually be there or not. I think this sounds super good. Um, hot honey pepperoni pizza. So I might be trying to get that for like a lunch this week. If I could get one or two of my kids to say that they try it with me. But I love hot honey. So that sounds really good. The chicken bacon ranch pizza I think sounds kind of good. However, I know no one else in my family would try that with me. And again, I don't want to be left eating a 27 ounce pizza by myself. I think these look really yummy, but... It's $4 more than the other chicken. I get the Parmesan tenders. I just bought them this week, and I don't know why that's $4 more. It doesn't seem like panko would be worth that much more unless the ounces don't compare. So I'm not sure, but they look pretty good. I always find I like the Kirkwood frozen chicken. I'm not obsessed with the red bag chicken like some people. I just think it's all right. I personally prefer the green Parmesan tenders, but I don't doubt that that would be good. Uh, Polish sausage, again, just something that only I would eat in my family. Rack of lamb, $9.99 a pound. $9.99 a pound for um, Maui pineapple Atlantic salmon or cedar plank. And then this I thought was a very funny picture, and I could be the only one that thinks this. However, $4.49 a pound for ground beef. But does that look like it's ground beef to you? It looks like a steak patty to me on that burger. And don't get me wrong, that burger looks really good, but it does not look like ground meat to me. I don't know. I call false advertising on that. But that is the ad. I'll be on for just a second if anyone wants me to go back to show you, like, details of something. But that was the ad for the week. And if you caught my grocery haul this week, I mentioned that I was making cornflake potatoes and I got a lot of comments about it. So I'm actually going to film me making them today. And Thursday, I'll have a video sharing with you how I make cornflake potatoes. All the ingredients are available at Aldi. So you can check that out. I look forward to sharing with you guys then. And I'll be back next Tuesday to go live again with next week's sneak peek. And until then, again, you can see how I make cornflake potatoes on Thursday and my grocery haul same day as I shop on Sunday. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Ciao down and ciao.